Well, I'm back at the 1860s permission and we're gonna try uh, with the AT Pro today. It's my first time here with the AT Pro. I've used the Mind Lab and the Ace 150, uh, but not the AT Pro. So let's give it a look and uh, see if I missed anything. Uh, maybe some deep silver? I don't know. This is where uh, I thought they must uh, you know, brought in some, uh, some extra dirt there when I don't know if they moved the house or whatever the case may be, but it is an 1860s house. Um, one of the first houses in this area. So let's see if we can find anything. I'm gonna give her a try. All right, we'll see you on the first hole. All right, so on my first hole, looks like a, well, almost like a top of a mason jar. It's definitely older than the more, the more modern ones, but uh, yeah. Cool. All right, let's go off to the next hole. All right, so my second hole, pull this thing out. I am not sure what it is. It's got some threads there. It's got a flat side. Hmm. I don't know. Anybody has any ideas? Let me know. Pointy on that end. I don't know. All right, off to the next hole. All right, on my next hole. See if I can get out of the sun here. It looks like a coin. All right, let me uh, let me clean it up before it dries up, and I'll uh, I'll show you what it is. All right, so it looks like a 1920 large scent. That would be my second large scent ever, which is pretty awesome. The other side is pretty uh, pretty caked up, but uh, yeah. It was ringing uh, 72 at about uh, 9 inches down. Cool. Off to the next hole. Alright, so my next hole. Got this little piece here. Not sure what exactly it is. And then we had this in there as well. It's flat on one side. Perfectly round. It rings uh, as an iron, so I'm not sure. And then uh, we had some foil. It was kind of an iffy signal, but it was deep, so I figured I'd, there was uh, there was some 70s in there, so I figured I'd dig it anyways. Yeah, a few things, one hole. All right, off to the next hole. All right, so this next hole here, I have another coin, but before I go any further, like I literally parked my truck right there and I've walked like, and I've done this place like at least five times. And uh, I was using the E-Track and uh, for me, it must've been just a bad programming or I'm just not used to reading the E-Track. But the AT Pro seems to be finding some good stuff. A little bit deep. Uh, I got something here. It's a quarter. It's not silver though, it's a 1976. Cool though. Quarter. All right, off to the next hole. All right, guys. So I uh, just want to jump in here and talk about the giveaway again. Uh, I released a video yesterday, uh, given the details on how to enter. You have to comment on that video there. That's the video that we're gonna count. Uh, people have already started to comment. They're a confirmed subscriber. Uh, everything's good there, and I'll uh, I'll check them all out. I'll check all your comments out, and I'll enter all of you into the giveaway. Uh, for, uh, the second prize was the Canadian silver dollar, 1966, and the first prize is going to be the Raptor uh, from Predator Tools. And uh, again, you can see it here, uh, PredatorTools.com. Check it out, guys. They got lots of good stuff there uh, for all your digging needs, even gardening and all that good stuff. You know, you can't get much better quality than this. So do yourself a favor and go on this website and check it out. All right, so my next hole, it was showing a 79.82, something like that. It's pretty solid and constant. It was about uh, probably, I'd say, seven or eight inches down, but I got fooled. Just a little uh, clip for cable or something. With some nails, with one nail, I should say. Maybe the other one's there, but uh, yeah, I'll take a look. All right, just uh, I should add, it's, uh, the soil is completely uh, perfect condition 
to uh, to dig. It's it's ridiculous. It's the first time this year that I've dug, um, and it's just been you know like butter. It's just cutting through like uh, like butter, like I said. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna be digging for a while here. I'm gonna do mostly the front yard because I haven't done more than five feet so far and found a largey and uh, yeah, quarter. Maybe I'll find some silver today. All right, off to the next hole, guys. All right, so my next hole, got this here. I'm not sure what it is. I was ringing as like a 58, 60, 61. It's pretty constant. When I first saw it in the hole, I was kind of like, what is that? But yeah, I think it might be like a, I don't know. It's pretty flimsy. It's not the, it's not very sturdy metal, so I don't know. I don't know. Cool. If anybody knows, let me know. We'll see you on the next hole. All right, so my next hole was showing me a 66 to 70 at about eight inches deep. Look about that. Um, got this to come out. I thought it was a ring or something at first, but it's kind of this piece is breaking off there. It's pretty brittle. I don't know what that might be. Let's see what it rings out on it. Yeah, it's it sounds like iron, so most likely not a ring, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. And we also had this uh, pull tab, which is probably what I got the signal, most likely the 66. No, the one. All right, up the next hole. All right, so my next hole was pretty deep. Uh, I dug in there, well, where's my pin pointer? I don't know if you guys can see, but it's way deep in there. Probably about, say, 10 to 11 inches. And I got this little bell kind of cool the little thingy is gone but I did find this in there too so I don't know if that's part of it I don't know and a couple of nails this was all in there cool but that bell is something else it's my first little bell like that alright off to the next hole guys all right, next hole, looks like a dime. Oh, sorry, I thought I was looking at it through the camera, but uh, I think it's a 1969. Still missing that silver. Yeah, 1969. Ah. All right, off to the next hole. Right, so it feels like a relic kind of day. Next hole, probably about eight inches, eight and a half inches. We got a harmonica reed. Now, I don't know if it's me that broke it um, with the shovel, but it is uh, it is broken, but still, cool. I found one here before too, which was pretty close, so it could be a, I don't know. All right, off to the next hole. Well, next hole. This place has never been shy of any pennies, so it wouldn't be a day without a penny. I don't know if I can get a date off this one. It oh, it's a weedy. It's a weedy. Sweet. Yeah, this side is pretty crusty. Might be able to toothpick it a little bit, but yeah, it's a weedy. Cool. See you on the next hole. Make this hole here. Found this big piece of iron and uh, it was pretty deep, probably about uh, 10 or 11 inches. And this was in the hole too. It's uh, another piece of a harmonica reed. The rest was, the rest of it wasn't in there. I looked, can't see anything else, so just a piece of it. All right, off to the next hole. All right, so my next hole, probably about uh, eight, nine inches. It was showing me a 76, 74. Thought for sure it was gonna be another largey, but uh, it, it was a, a rosary. Now the cross was broken off here. That's where it goes at the bottom. It's all green. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's fully complete. Cool. I love finding uh, religious uh, items. 
All right, off to the next hole, guys. All right, so this hole here, I don't know if you guys can see, pretty deep in there. I'll get my pinpointer. And uh, got a couple pennies, I think. This one looks like a memorial. Sure, the day 1959, I think 1952, and see what else we got here. This one is a Canadian penny, and uh, 1968, I believe. Yeah, 1968. All right, cool. Off to the next. All right, so this hole here was a solid 75. I don't know what it is. It's shaped different. I don't know if it's a buckle. I don't want to break it. Yeah, it's a buckle. Nice, it seems complete too. Nice. All right, let me clean it up a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here it is. All cleaned up. Seems pretty complete. It is broken on one side here, right uh, there in the corner. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put that away in the truck right away. Not going in the bag. All right, we'll see you on the next hole. Sweet. It's a relic kind of day, and I'm loving it. All right. All right so my next hole. Got this piece that come out. I'm not sure what it is. Almost looks like a bearing with these little balls, it seems like, but uh, I'm not sure. It's got a little ridge there. And this, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And uh, there was also this piece that came out. Don't know. And uh, a few nails. One of them is a square nail. All right, off to the next hole. All right, my next hole is kind of a nifty signal, and it was showing me about five to six inches. Uh, it was right in the bottom of the plug, so basically it was maybe like an inch, an inch and a half. But uh, we got this coin here that came out. I'm not sure what it is, to tell the truth. Oh, come on. So it looks like a. Canadian V nickel. <laughs> Five cents, 1945 to 2005. I've never seen this variety. It's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, see you on the next hole. All right, this hole here, it's a dime, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be clad. Uh, it's a 1999. Sorry if I, uh, if I go like this, it's just because I'm looking out of the camera because the reflection, I can't see anything on the camera. So hopefully you guys are getting a good shot. But yeah, it's a 1999. Wasn't too deep. Maybe three inches. All right, off to the next. All right, maybe about four inches over. Got another signal right on the surface or right underneath the surface. This one is also a clad, but I won't be able to give you a date because it's rusted right on the date. But uh, nothing old, that's for sure. All right, see you on the next. All right, so this next hole here, got this piece that came out. Looks almost like a piece of a buckle, but uh, not sure. It looks more on the iron side, but it did run in as a as an 80. Well, let me check this. That's running in as a 25, so there might be something else. Let me uh, keep going in the hole here, and we'll see. All right, so my next hole is another tiny buckle of some sort. I don't know. I don't know much about buckles, but uh, I know there's people out there that do, so if you know what kind of buckle this would be, let me know. It's tiny. Alright, off to the next hole. Alright, so my next hole uh, is ringing about a 66, and uh, I dug it, so it was only on the surface, like underneath the surface, about two inches. It looks like a, bu a button to me. You can see there's looks like a shank was there, but it's not there anymore. But uh, yeah, it looks like a tiny little button. 
I nicked it here with the uh, shovel, but it is what it is. All right, Let's see if we can find something else. Off to the next. Let's jump right into the wrap up. All right, let's do a quick wrap up. Um, this is all the aluminum stuff. This is an old can here. This is all the foil. I, I dig them all, guys. <laughs> a few uh, pull tabs, a couple of older ones there. Um, got these pieces here. I don't know exactly what they are. Found them before at that permission. Uh, I did also find a harmonica reed the last time I was there uh, with the e-track. But uh, I found a piece of one today and uh, it was a full one. I think it might have been me that uh, broke it. But uh, it is what it is. A uh, couple tubes of toothpaste. Dental cream. I <laughs> uh, found the rosary. Nice old one. Uh, the cross broke off of it. But I did find a cross too. It was sitting there in the hole. I uh, managed to get a few buckles. You can't really see this one here because it was hidden. But I uh, got this little buckle here. It looks like a, maybe part of a watch with the double thing. I, I don't know. That little uh, cylinder there kind of gives it a, a more of a modern look. Um, this, I believe, is a shoe buckle. It would be early early to mid 1800s probably uh, could be a little bit later I'm not too too familiar I'm still waiting on confirmation on this but uh, I was pretty stoked to find this one um, here's another type of buckle and then I've got this piece here not too sure exactly what it is it looks kind of familiar for some reason but I don't know don't know um, this here uh, dug a hole probably about nine inches this was on this was in there I thought that was it that was giving me the signal it was uh, close to the 80s 78 79 pretty solid and, and uh, turned out to be this bell here at about 11 inches deep that was pretty cool I like that one I wish I had the little bell inside but it doesn't unfortunately uh, found these two little ring type things uh, they sound like iron uh, this one too not sure about this one. It kind of looks, I don't know. It's hard to uh, it's hard to tell. It's pretty uh, rusted up, so it's it's most likely iron. Uh, got this little piece of metal. Must be iron as well. This came out. I thought it was something big. Um, as coin wise, when it came out, I was like, "What is this?" And then, nope, it was just a piece of copper. It looks like. Um, this came out of the hole with this as well. And we got this piece here. Kind of pointy on that end, flat on that end. It's got some threads in the middle. Don't know. Have some uh, square nails, a piece of square nails. Uh, more iron, iron, iron. This was kind of different. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. But it, I believe it wasn't a hole with that, actually. Yeah, it was too. This here, I didn't know what it was. It's actually a magnet. When I took it out of the bag, it had a bunch of stuff stuck to it. <laughs> um, found this old shell too, at about nine inches deep. It's kind of funny. And uh, some nails, lots of modern nails. I was uh, hunting pretty close to the house, so I mean, you're bound to found, find some nails. There was a few square ones there. They were pretty deep. When I was digging the hole, there was multiple sig signals with the pin pointer. Turned out to be some square nails or regular nails. Um, as far as coins, well, before, I actually have a little button that I found. Uh, the shank is on this side and it's broken off. Oh, I just dropped it. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't make out anything on it. Uh, it's pretty wiped. Got uh, my first readable large scent. It's a 1920s. And uh, we have an unidentified penny. I didn't know the date. Uh, that's a 1942. Uh, two of them, actually. Two 1942 Canadians. One 1968. We had a couple Wheaties. And one Lincoln. Um, quarter. It's a 1976, I believe. And then we got the Victory Nickel Canada. 1945 to 2005. And uh, we had three dimes, one I can't identify uh, the date, and the other one is uh, 1969 and 1999. 
that was my hunt today. Uh, it was great. I mean, I loved it. It was, uh, every hole was just, you know, very deep. I was digging deep today. That was my main goal. Because uh, I've hit the permission probably five or six times by now. And this is what I missed in the front yard. So, just by going a little bit deeper. And I had the AT Pro rather than the E-Track or the Ace 150. So, there it is, guys. That's all we got for you for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and also to check us out on Instagram. The, the pictures from the finds were on Instagram before this video was even in the making. So this, uh, that's where we post first is Instagram. So make sure you follow us there. And um, you can also check us out on uh, Twitter. And uh, yeah, till next week, guys. Just keep digging. We'll see ya. Bye.